Okay, today we're going to make a tutorial on how to change the name of the tabs in the menu bar. <coughs> um, to begin with, we need to make sure that we are logged in to WordPress and we need to be in the dashboard. So the default window of the dashboard will look like this. Once you're in the dashboard, the next thing we need to do is go to the appearance section of the dashboard. Under appearance, we need to go to menu. And once you're in the menu, you will see the main menu bar, which is right here, this tab called menu. Uh, and that pertains to this menu bar up here. And then you will see the list of pages that are listed in the menu bar. So here you have about, and under about you have who we are and what we do. So if we go here, you have about, and then you have the who we are and what we do page right there. And the rest of the tabs have sub pages. And as you can see, services has carriers and solutions, mobility, telecom and then Merck Consulting. Um, I suppose the first thing we can do here is we can move this sub page and put it under about. And the way you do that is you hover over the menu item and you click and hold the, the item so you, you can see that you can now move it and you drag it up until you see that it's under about. Now, you have to make sure that it is indented under the About page, like that. If it is not indented, and you leave it this way, and you save the item, what will happen is that this will become a major tab in the menu bar. So as soon as we get a confirmation that the, there we go, the menu has been updated, and if we refresh the page now, then you'll see that there's going to be a new menu item there. And there it is. So we need to make sure that this item is indented under the About page. And that will allow this item to show up under the About. So it's indented. Let's save it one more time make sure that we get the confirmation that the item has been saved. There we go. And then refresh the page one more time. And then the item is now located under the About page. Okay. Now the next stage is how do we rename these tabs if we go back to the menu section, what we need to do is we need to make sure that whichever item you want to rename has to be listed in here first. Now, if you want to rename the item, you have to click the drop down menu, and you'll notice that, for example, services has a label called navigation label, and it says services. If you wanted to change that, let's, let, let's just say services 23, all you do is just add the number in there, or any other text that you want, and then click the Save Menu. And once the confirmation comes through that the menu has been saved, there we go. We can go to the page here. It says services at the moment, but if we refresh the page, it should say services 23. And there it is, services 23. So let's go back and rename that to the original services and save that. 
and that should save it back to the original name on the menu navbar. Okay, let's uh, refresh the page here. There we go. <coughs> and finally, um, you have three additional tabs up here. Colophon, if you click it, it'll display what's under the colophon, and there's only one page there. Services, and you'll see a few pages there, and technology. These extra tabs are the menus that you will see on the sidebar. So make sure that the menu bar or the menu tab is the one that we are looking at. To lastly to add an item to this section, all you do is go to pages. You might see most region, I'm sorry, most recent, but what you want to do is make sure that you see view all. So if there is a page that's not listed on here, all you do is you click the item and I think that one might already be here. Yeah, careers is already there. So let's look and see if there's one that's not listed. Let's look at well, they're, mo they're all listed. All you do is put a tick mark in the item, click add menu, and that will automatically add it to the bottom of the list. Once it's listed there, all you have to do is drag it to any place you want in the menu, and remember to hit save menu, and that will place it in the menu bar here. And that should be all you need to know about how to add pages here, and how to move them, and how to rename them.